Hello, I'm Richard Cleaver, and I'm standing as an independent candidate for the Stamford West Ward on Lincolnshire County Council in the elections on the 6th of May, now that David Brailsford is standing down. David has been a very conscientious and hardworking councillor, and I salute him. I had first-hand experience of David's drive and determination when I was involved in running the campaign for residence parking a few years ago. I should be honoured to be his successor as a county councillor. He set a fine example to follow. I've lived in Stamford for over 20 years and have always been active within the community. I've been very active in numerous local campaigns on issues such as residence parking, better rail services, the protection and enhancement of green spaces, and against the closure of St Mary's surgery. During my time in Stamford, I've been an innkeeper, a church warden, and a charity fundraiser, to name but a few. I'm currently active with the Second Helping Food Project and with the new Stamford Health Education and Awareness Charity. I also intend to be very active in a new local campaign for better health services in Stamford, which is currently being formed. I'm recently retired from full-time work, and so I have much more time to take on the duties of a county councillor. So, I am standing for election now because Stamford needs strong independent voices to look after its interests, and I care passionately about the town. Stamford is already marginalised by Lincolnshire County Council, and now the county leadership wants to abolish the county council, the seven district councils, and the two unitary authorities, and replace them with just one single massive authority. So Stamford would no longer be part of SKDC run from Grantham, but would instead be part of Greater Lincolnshire, all run from Lincoln, 50 miles away. I do not think that it is in Stamford's interests to be just a small town on the edge of Greater Lincolnshire, with decisions about it being made by councillors from as far away as Grimsby and Scunthorpe and Gainsborough. However, there is no question that the existing arrangement of us having both a district and county council working in parallel is not efficient and that we should be part of a single authority. But I strongly believe that Stamford should be part of a smaller single authority, ideally including Rutland, where we have more say over our own future. And that should include a say over our NHS provision too. Stamford faces other challenges as well. We need more affordable housing and much development is planned to the north of the town. But just across the Rutland border on Casterton Road, the old quarry site with its beautiful wood is under threat from both development and the routing of the new east-west relief road. And the few remaining greenfield sites within the town's borders still do not have enough protections. Future generations will judge us harshly if we fail to strike the right balance between the need for more affordable housing and the need to preserve and enhance our local environment. The northwest side of Stanford lacks many of the facilities which are abundant elsewhere in the town. The GP surgeries, the supermarkets, the hospital and the leisure pool are all on the other side of town. We need to ensure that where new developments do take place, they address this imbalance. We also need a local council which will facilitate Stanford's continued health and prosperity in the post-COVID world. Our town is dependent upon tourism, more dependent than we realise sometimes. And that's what underpins our diverse range of town centre shops, our vibrant live entertainment scene, and our extensive hospitality sector. All this makes Stanford a great place to live and helps the town to thrive. I will work hard to support the town's tourist economy and that will include campaigning for the reopening of the museum. I will also continue to campaign for better public transport, particularly for better rail services. But I also appreciate the need for more cycle lanes on main roads and for more electric vehicle charging points. This is intended to be just a short introduction video, but between now and polling day on the 6th of May, I will be setting out my views in more detail, including on topics such as education and social care, and these will be published on my Facebook page and on my YouTube channel. If you would like to support my campaign, please send me an email using the link on the Facebook page or directly to this address. Thank you for watching.